doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. Today we are in our wooden box rooms decorated with magnetic wallpaper with a Valentine's Day theme. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, I went to my local antique mall in search of Valentine's Day Barbies. And I found a few. This is a special edition Make a Valentine Barbie. I think this is from 1998. I paid $14 and yes, I am opening the box cause she's been in here long enough. The packaging has paperboard stencils, but I'm just here for the doll. Even though a groovy ring is included, along with a pink Barbie brush. The doll is dressed in pink, wears a shiny pink top with a collar and gold buttons going down the front, a plaid skirt with hearts, curly pink sneakers. She has a pink ring, pink earrings that are not removable. The rubber band in her hair is kind of gross and it fell apart. She has long blonde hair with bangs, blue eyes, and a pearly pink lip color. Her hair is super soft. It reminds me of feathers. This doll has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. Oh, wait. She has a click knee or a bend and snap knee, and both of her arms are bent. Aww, poor thing. Let's see how this outfit looks on a made to move body. <gasps> oh no, do you see that? It's just completely falling apart. This top did not hold up to the test of time. The skirt, however, does appear to be fine. And I just realized that this doll has waist articulation. So she does have more than the basic five points. But I still need more. I would like to put this doll on a made to move body. But this is definitely not a match. Her skin has a lot of red in it. We can try this one. It's kind of close. Everyone, say it with me. Off with their heads. Queen of hearts. Kind of perfect for today's video. Place the dolls in a plastic bag, then into hot water until the head is soft enough to be removed. Let's add the new head. Not too bad, actually. However, the hair and the bangs could use a little work. So we're just gonna switch her out for this Barbie Basic number one model from the Jean collection. I put her on a made to move body and we're gonna name her Valentina or Val in honor of the day. And the skirt fits, turning this into an episode of Does the Fit Fit? This is Sentimental Valentine Barbie from the Be My Valentine Collector series. There she is. This is a Hallmark exclusive. It was $50 and that says 1996. When we open the cover, we see the doll. Imagine a Valentine's Day in the 1830s. Sentimental Valentine Barbie doll breathlessly awaits the answer to a romantic message sent to her heart's desire. It comes with a little mini card. It's printed on paperboard and it's solid on the back. This doll comes with a deep red velvety dress, a pearl drop headpiece, lace around the neckline, a blue ribbon tied into a bow with little gold beads. There is lace on the cuffs and she has black flat shoes. And she even has little pearl drop earrings and a gold colored ring. This dress has stained the doll, so it's not a dress I would like to store my dolls in but a quick photo shoot shouldn't hurt. The shoes are a little large, but they are staying on. The dress is a little big at the neckline, but we can just make it off the shoulder and then it works. Maybe we can wear this dress to a costume party. Not too bad for $14.99. Plus we got a mini Valentine. Here's another special edition Hallmark doll. This is Sweet Valentine Barbie from the Be My Barbie Collector series. 
The back of the box says $19.95. I paid $14.95. And this is the first doll in the collector series, showcasing another gown from the 1830s. And a card. We get another paperboard card. We've got a nice little collection growing. This doll has brown hair styled into curls. She comes with earrings and a pearl necklace, none of which were designed to be removed. She has a matching ring, pink heels, a pink satin dress with puff sleeves, a ribbon rose in the center, and a few pearls. There's a ribbon at the waist leading to a large skirt that is split in the middle with a little bit of tulle or mesh. And then we have some roses on the sides. And we get another classic Barbie brush. This dress Velcros in the back, so it's pretty easy to remove. Hmm, I wonder what this would look like on my curvy Ariel. Aw oh, man, it doesn't quite fit. It's making the waist a little too high. It's a decent fit on a classic made-to-move Barbie body, even though it's a little large in the chest. I think we can make some fun book covers with these dresses. And it looks pretty amazing on a tall Barbie too. I am getting all of these coated wires from the packaging. Let's make a quick craft using dimensional stickers. I have a pack of hearts and I'm just going to place the sticker onto the wire. If the sticker isn't sticky enough, I use a little glue to secure it. Then I add another sticker on top to make mini balloons. Take it a step further and wrap them with tissue paper. I wrapped another piece of wire around it, then a little bit of ribbon to make a mini balloon bouquet. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Now this isn't a Valentine's Barbie, but it is a Valentine's present to myself. From the Hollywood Legends collection, here's Barbie as Marilyn for the adult collector. From the 1953 movie, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, here is Barbie as Marilyn Monroe. All of the plastic straps have completely degraded, but the dress is still holding up pretty good. This doll has metal earrings, a little necklace. The earrings are removable. She has long pink gloves with silver trim or ribbon at the wrist with little gems to look like bracelets. There is a belt attached at the waist, a large pink and black bow in the back. The dress opens and closes with snaps. There's a slit in the back and she comes with black heels. This is a long fitted dress and I'm a little concerned it might not fit a made to move body. But hold up, it actually isn't that bad. The dress is staying up, even though we have a little bit of room at the top. We'll just make sure she takes all her photos facing front. It buttoned up in the back just fine. So for the most part, I would say the fit pretty much fits. Now these dolls are no longer in production. So if you wanted to create your own Valentine's Day look, I think we can use something a little extra. And I've been looking for an excuse to restyle my Disney Creative Soul Cinderella that I've put on a made-to-move body. I start by taking her hair down. Oh, and her hair was tucked under, so it is longer than it looks. And there's a bun in the center, so it's even longer. I use a little bit of water to gently detangle the hair. I'm styling her hair like the Tiana doll by pulling the front up. I'm adding a little hair accessory to her ponytail. I give her pink heart Barbie extra stockings, add a pink dress, a little jewelry, and a pink mini fashion bag. I love the little detail of the heart. To create your own Valentine's Day look using a few things you might already have. Wow, today had a lot of pink. From Hallmark dresses, celebrity-inspired looks, Barbie Extra Fancy, and a quick DIY for an episode of Does the Fit Fit? Valentine's Day Edition. Thank you for joining us for another video. Like, 
comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.